Hello yoga family, welcome to my channel, the best place to practice yoga on and off the mat for your body, mind, and soul. Today's class is an evening yoga flow to rest and relax. I really want you to think of it as a routine or ritual that you're integrating into your evening so you can intentionally, thoughtfully, and easily transition from the busyness of your day into your evening where you can rest, take care of your body, and return home so we can wake up the next day feeling restored and rejuvenated. Come in comfy clothing, okay? And I am suggesting a blanket and two blocks if you've got it. Bring what you have, gather your yoga tools, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Let's begin this evening yoga practice together. All right, meet me in an upright seated posture, and if you're working with blocks, have them placed towards the top of your mat. In an upright seated posture, allow your roots to settle down and ground, and then draw your awareness up through the central axis, Sushumna Nadi, all the way to the crown of the head, and feel as though you're creating spaciousness for your evening to unfold and expand. Hands can rest here atop the thighs, or I invite you to bring your left hand over your sacral chakra between the pelvis and the navel, and your right hand over your heart, over the heart chakra anahata. Close your eyes or softly gaze ahead and take seven breaths to settle here. Gently inhaling and exhaling through the nostrils so we can arrive into our yoga practice, into presence, into the now here, here now moment. Really all that there is, nowness. Last two breaths. For this final one, join me with a huge sigh on the exhale. <sighs> so nice. Inhale, bring the arms overhead. Exhale, twist to the right. Inhale, arms reach, keep it real soft. Exhale, twist to the left. About 50% of what you would do in a vinyasa or more powerful class. Exhale to the right. And one more to the left. Inhale the arms back up again. And exhale the right hand down to the mat, elbow bends in, reach the left arm high, let that left hip grow heavy into the earth plane as you broaden and expand through the left side body, breathing into the rib cage here, both the front and back side, three breaths. Springboard off the right hand, windmill to the left, same, same. Right hip grows so heavy, plugging into the earth plane. Right hand reaches overhead and breathe into the rib cage, front side and back, 360 degrees, three breaths. And springboard back up through neutral. Interlace the hands and send them towards me. 
Inhale, reach the arms overhead, keep the clasp. Exhale, release the hands, goal post the arms, and imagine that you're pulling your elbows through the thickest mud, drawing the elbows back, tips of the shoulder blades coming together, palms returning towards one another. Interlace the fingers, send them towards me. We'll repeat that. Inhale the arms up. Exhale, bend the elbows, pull through that thick mud, broaden the chest, reverse all that forward movement we do throughout the day. Palms draw together. Last time, interlace the fingers, reach them high. Exhale, pull down. Feel free to close your eyes and really enjoy this movement. Move as slow as possible. And bring the palms together. Mm, I'm already feeling the tension dissipate and melt out of my body. Bring the hands around to the left side. So the right hand will wrap around to meet the left side of the body and see if you can clasp the hands here and create a fist-like shape. Once you've got something like that, let the right ear soften towards the right shoulder. Relax both shoulders down. Oh yeah. <sighs> the left side of my neck has been nice and loud. <laughs> if that's you as well, sending that love that signal, that message, it's okay. It's time to rest soon. I got you, I'm caring for you. Last breath. And now shift the chin and the gaze down towards the right shoulder and play with rotating the head up and down here. Great, pause, bring the head back up, shift the fist package around to the right, snuggle it in. Once you arrive, left shoulder, left ear towards left shoulder, and ooh, this is a cranky side for me. Relax everything down as much as possible, breathe where you can. If you enjoyed that chin drawing down, chin drawing up, invitation to move there. And everyone lift the head back up, release the hands, come into a tabletop posture please. Bringing the knees closer together, send everything back for child's pose. Exhale. Inhale, cow. Exhale, balasana. Move at your own pace. Let this be restorative, gentle. There's no goal to achieve, no destination to arrive at. Only caring for this vessel physically, energetically, emotionally, mentally, intellectually, and spiritually. Last round. And come up back into neutral tabletop. If you've got the block, place it at the front of the mat and arrive into downward facing dog. We're gonna hold for a whole minute. If that does not interest you, hang out in child's pose for the minute, all right? Hands frame the block, curl the toes under, lift the hips, Send them high and spread through the sacrum and you'll place the block right at the hairline. We have one minute here and I always like to imagine that 
any thoughts, emotions, feelings, anything that didn't get completed, any grievances I have about my performance. This is an invitation to let it all flow out. Let it go back down into the earth plane. The earth plane is strong enough to support us. So allow that support to be offered here. What do you not want to take with you into the evening? Permission to let that go. Create that internal spaciousness so you can enjoy yourself, your family, your partner, whatever it is you want to do this evening. And of course, a solid night of sleep. Last whole breath. And soften the knees. Place the block off to the side. Inhale, bring the right arm high. Exhale, sweep it through, thread the needle. Right shoulder, right palm, right ear, resting down. Left hand can stay right here by the face. It can extend forward or wrap around the body. You choose. Whatever, you're, whatever position you're in, softly reconnecting to the breath. And left hand returns next to the face. Push into the earth plane, come back into tabletop. And move through three rounds of cat cow, but make it non-linear. Let it be whatever the body is wanting and not what the mind is instructing. For me, my mind loves to turn on in the evening, especially when my head connects with the pillow. And so movement like this is helpful to get out any thoughts that are a little bit or a lot of bit unconscious, unresolved, that gets stirred up and arrive right as we lay down horizontal. And neutral tabletop, inhale the left arm high. Sweep it through, you know where we're going. Come in to thread the needle here. Choosing where you want your right hand, settling in, reconnecting softly with your breath. Slide that right hand back, push into the earth plane, unravel. Last opportunity to move around however the body is asking to be. Doesn't need to make sense, doesn't need to look like something we see on social media, in a magazine, in an anatomy book. Beautiful, last breath. Return to neutral tabletop. Extend the left leg back, toes stays tucked under, and let the heel grow heavy. Calf stretch. Mm. <laughs> I like to bob up and down here. 
Shift your weight back over the right knee. Extend the left leg. Lift and lengthen through the inseam of the left thigh. Roll that left hip down. Possibly extend the right hand forward. Lengthen from fingertips to toes. Three breaths. Ringing out any last bit of energy that hasn't been expended. Last breath. And hand and knee come back. Extend the right leg. Weight the heel. Stretch into that calf. Allowing yourself to grow more and more relaxed. <sighs> Invitation to sigh as much as you feel called to. And shift the weight over the left knee. Lift the right leg. Lead with the inseam of the thigh. Roll the right hip down. Stay here or extend through the left fingertips. Three breaths. And soften everything down. Great. Swing the legs in front of you. Coming into butterfly pose. I love this posture. If you've got a blanket, sit on the edge, please. And if you have your two blocks, bring them nearby. So diamond pose is like butterfly pose, except we extend the legs out further away from the groin. Soles of the feet are still together, but the legs are creating this diamond-like shape. So you'll need to play with how far away are my soles of the feet from my body. And I like to stack two blocks here on the feet, okay? If you've got the blocks, you'll be working with them. If not, all good. Bring the hands underneath the ankles and they'll clasp the tops of the feet. Okay, wiggling around a bit. Fold forward and let the head relax on the blocks or hang heavy. We'll be here for oh, just about 30 seconds. So immediately drop in. You are more than welcome to join me with another sigh. Sound of any kind helps shift us into a rest and digest state and also carry away unresolved emotions, unconscious thoughts, things that we're storing in this physical vessel. So again, another invitation to sigh. So great. Lift the gaze, remove the left hand only, bring it to the inner knee, and very gently guide the torso away. You should feel this beautiful side stretch. Nothing intense. Return the left hand. This time the right hand releases, comes to the inner knee, and again, gently guide the body away. Hmm. Bring the torso back through center, Unravel the left hand, bring both of them behind you, windshield wiper, the legs from side to side. Take the feet nice and wide as you do this. One more time each side. And we'll end with 
a cooling pranayama technique. So meet me in an upright seated posture, Sukhasana or Virasana hero's pose with a block if you're taking the second option. Again, reclaim your foundation, roots down, crown high. And we'll use Shatali or Sitkari Pranayama. They are cooling, calming breath techniques that really help us draw inward and prepare for relaxation, rest, all right, sleep. So Shatali is where we create a tongue tunnel and inhale through that tongue tunnel. We then draw the tongue in, close the mouth, and exhale through the nostrils. It looks like this. If you can't create the tongue tunnel, you're not alone. What I'd like you to do is practice Sitkari. Same, same, except you'll keep the teeth joined together, widen the mouth as much as possible, and inhale through the teeth, and it'll create a hissing-like sound, but you'll experience that same cooling effect as you draw inward on the inhale breath. It'll look like this, teeth together, Wide mouth. Close the mouth, tongue draws in, exhale through the nose. We'll practice for one minute, whichever technique you're using. Shatali tongue tunnel or sitkari with the teeth together, mouth open wide. Inhaling through the tongue or the teeth, start to begin the pranayama technique. Exhale, draw the tongue inward, close the lips, exhale through the nostrils. As you inhale, focus on the cooling sensation that you're feeling, either on the tongue or through the teeth, the teeth, and passing through the entire mouth cavity. And then as you close the mouth and exhale through the nostrils, visualize any last bits of tension that you want to expel. Another 30 seconds here. Last round. Pausing for a moment. Compared to before you stepped on your mat and said yes to the practice. How do you feel now? What's the difference you feel in your physical body, emotional body, energetic body, mental body, wisdom body, and spirit body? Sweep the arms out to the side as you thank yourself for showing up and also everyone that's practicing beside you, palms touch, hug your hands down through heart center. We'll close with a soft om, inhale. Oh. Collective reset breath. Thumbs to forehead, gently bow. Om Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Om Peace, Peace, Peace. 
Slowly lifting the gaze, releasing the hands, opening the eyes. Welcome back. It's my intention that you feel very prepared and supported to ease into your evening or immediately into your bed and a rejuvenative night of sleep. If you want to deepen your practice with me, download my yoga reset guide. It's a seven step journey through the chakra system to recenter your body, mind, and soul. It includes yoga asana classes, energy aligning exercises, suggested mantras and affirmations, and self-reflective journal, journal prompts. Details are waiting for you in the description below. Thank you for joining me as I ease into my evening. And now the real work begins, yoga fam, that we take what we've cultivated on the mat, off the mat, and into our daily lives. I'll meet you back here, but first, sweet dreams.